And what should be an intriguing afternoon of, of football. And off we go. As uh, Connor Roberts spreads it out to the right hand side and a nice looking ball there and now Morgan Roberts into the box Morgan Roberts onto his left foot will shoot there's a shoot straight at Dan Lavercombe and so there here comes Babos give and go there Babos still has it gets another give and go threads it through this time and a fine bit of goalkeeping there that was a good move flicked through Morgan Roberts and great commitment from Dan Lavercombe came straight out saw the danger got in the way corner ball but it was some smart work there between uh, Babos and uh, Morgan Roberts. And uh, Morgan Roberts now to take this corner from the left-hand side. I think it's about the fifth corner now for uh, Banbury. Is uh, the pressure going to tell here? In it comes. Far post. Jay Williams gets ahead on it. Can't direct it. Good pressure there, I think, from Andy Halls. On the edge of the box, chance a low shot wide. And again, the shooting boots. Hold on, this time Jack Stevens. As uh, the ball is uh, played forward, a free kick. Jones wins it well, but it falls for Babos. Babos left footed shot just over the bar. He took that very well there. Morgan Roberts into the box, a left footed shot. And uh, that goes, oh, no, it's a corner ball, great save from Lavercombe. And a uh, good work there from Mayako again, and Mori gets on the end of it. Mori now, thrusting Ron, thinks about a left foot shot, and that's the first on target shot, I think, for FC. Not a great test for Harding, straight at him, but with pace, and FC are definitely in a more competitive space in this contest in this uh, second period. Back to Jones. Jones. Oh, nice ball from McCarthy. Mori out to the left flank. Now Donahue towards the byline. Now Donahue, left footed cross, waiting is Clive Smith, but it's just overhit by Donahue. But FC just looking a little more threatening. Roberts through the trialist. Trialist flicks it in nicely there. Stevens into the box. Stevens plays it across, plays it behind him. But now a quiet with a great chance and he puts it over the bar. Linkus, and now that's played forward for McCarthy. McCarthy with a shot, which was too hot to hold for Harding, but he grabs it at the second attempt. And it comes, good delivery, and Halls heads it across. McCarthy chips it back on the volley was Curtis Jones, couldn't get hold of it. And it's cleared by Banbury. So Donahue to start, we've got a penalty shootout. It's Donahue versus Harding, Donahue, and it's a poor one, and it's a save. So Lavercombe. Superb goalkeeper. Stevens but was the youngest starter in the 11, 21. So it shows some faith in him. What can Lavacombe do here? As uh, Banbury looks to draw first blood. Oh, yes, uh, wrong footed Lavacombe. It's 1 0. The pressure's on FC now. Ennis now, can he make it 1 1? Oh, that, you see, that is a perfect penalty. The keeper went the right way, but it was so well placed it hit the side netting. So Henry Landers, who came on as a sub, to make it 2-1 if he can. No, he can't! And that wasn't a great penalty either, but a good save. And it's 1-1. Three penalties left for each. Now Taylor, the experience of the man. Can he do it? Yeah, oh no, he hit the inside of the upright. Unlucky. So, skipper. See if he can match the... Uh, what uh, FC skipper did, Giorgio Rasulu. Yes, uh, just uh, again, perfectly placed. Uh, went the wrong way, Lavacombe, but uh, don't think he would have stopped that. But here comes Jones. Oh, he saved, saved. Not a brilliant one. And one out of four so far for FC. So this is so for the match. Win. Well, they had a bit of discussion there, but trialist, trialist. well, could make a name for himself. Or not. <laughs> trialist. But FC, I'm afraid... Well, Ennis, uh, what the good thing is that our key penalty taker took a perfect penalty. That's, uh, that's a sort of a silver lining, really.
It's all down to Dan Lavercombe now. Lavercombe, if he can keep this one out, he can keep FC in it, but then FC need to score and hope that Banbury also miss their fifth penalty. So, otherwise, um, what do you think they'll all run down the field to the trialist if he puts it in? Well, we'll find out any moment now. Trialist versus Lavercombe. Here it comes. Trialist scores, and Banbury United win that shield. And there goes the full-time whistle, and the FC with a, I'm afraid, pretty uh, ordinary showing at the penalty spot, apart from Ennis. But Banbury, it was a really tight game. The second half was could have gone either way. I think if FC, you might argue, FC had the slightly the better the second half. So, Neil, um, never nice to lose. Uh, penalties are always a bit of a lottery. How did you feel the game went? Tough to lose on penalties. Um, overall, I thought we got well and truly out played and outclassed in the first half. I don't think it was down to ability. I think our lack of mental strength uh, allowed them too much respect and uh, them to move the ball around. We made so many, so many, so many poor decisions that it isn't us. And, you know, it's hard when you make a, a raft of new signings. You know, it's hard to, you know, do you put your arm around them? Training's got to be right. Uh, you've got to make them feel welcome to the club. But if they didn't know about my standards and expectations to before the game or before pre-season, they certainly know after half time. Half time, words were said, and they needed to know that playing for this club is, a, is an honour and a privilege, and we won't accept that first half. Second half, I thought we were incredible, and that shows again a real mental toughness of, of individuals to come out, roll your sleeves up, and, and go and put the performance like that. So, super proud, you know, to, to go toe to toe with Banbury, who won the league at a canter last season, and massive congratulations to them. But, you know, the balance of play, if it would have been a league game, a draw would have been a fair result. Um.